Sira has arrived in Naraka Blade Point. From how she's been introduced, this new character brings a fresh play style, especially in trio and duo modes, though I think she'll also fire up solo players. Sira is a semi-healer with a devastating ultimate, but let's dive into the new features introduced with her. In the test server, she has three outfits. A base olive green one that gives her a peasant look, a brown variant of the base outfit, and a legendary outfit likely to be released in a character bundle. We caught a glimpse of this legendary outfit in the trailer, but now we can admire it in detail. It's truly stunning. This character release bundle will probably include an accessory for her head, a beautiful golden crown and halo that suits her perfectly. Moving on to the two collectible dolls. One is wooden and can be earned through her hero cultivation, while the other is more plush-like and is awarded to players in the Hall of Fame Top 100. Next is the pendant seen in the latest event, which is elegant and a perfect match for her legendary outfit. Another upcoming accessory is a lovely lyre, along with a beautiful headpiece necklace featuring a sun and moon design. Now let's talk about the new face options, one with a western aesthetic and the other with an eastern look. Both are very well crafted. In terms of hairstyles, there are the base ones, plus new styles with two long, elegant braids that will be part of the bundle. There's also a new avatar available as a reward for her hero cultivation, which is adorable. Finally, there's probably a weapon skin for the spear dedicated to Syrah's character, and it looks amazing. Now let's admire her in all her glory with these upcoming additions, but the video isn't over yet, because we're about to unlock her abilities. Guides the lost. Purifies the defiled. And here we are with her skills. Syra's primary abilities are Orole. When under attack, she can dash backward, leaving behind a ball of light that explodes after two seconds, blinding enemies and healing allies. Her other primary skill is Orole, Attach. By holding the F key, you can choose the distance and direction of a light orb to throw. Using the left mouse button, you can attach it to yourself or an ally. After four seconds, it will explode, blinding enemies and healing both you and any allies in the blast radius. Alternatively, pressing the right mouse button launches it to a chosen location where it will explode after two seconds. You can also detonate it early by pressing F again, though this won't blind enemies. Now let's see these abilities in action. Talking about her ultimates, both function in roughly the same way. Light's Mercy grants you new attacks and an extra life, similar to Valda's shield but providing additional health. You gain two attacks. The left click creates a beam of light that damages enemies, and when interrupted after a certain use duration, it pushes enemies back. If allies are nearby, it releases small light orbs that blind enemies and heal allies. The right click releases small orbs that slightly knock back enemies, disrupting their movements and charged attacks. 
and when directed at allies, they provide healing. As for Light's Mercy, Field, it includes both of these attacks, plus a circle around you that continuously regenerates health for allies and reduces their damage taken by 50%. When the ultimate ends, enemies within this circle are blinded for a longer period than with the primary ability. I hope you enjoyed all these updates. Remember, Naraka is free to play, and if you liked my video, please consider subscribing, leaving a like, or commenting, and don't forget to hit the notification bell for my future videos. Thank you.